I am a cosmologist, which is my dream job since I was a teenager. Um, so that's pretty awesome, especially working at JPL and Caltech. But it is super hard to find a job in research. We have to do these short jobs, two, three years, which we call postdocs, and we have to move around a lot. Uh, so for me, for instance, I grew up in France, got my PhD uh, just outside of Paris, and then moved to Scotland for three years, then London for four months, and I arrived here last summer. So a lot of moving around, and basically you use your pay from your last postdoc to spend on your moving to the new place. So now I have no savings. Um, I get to travel around the world a lot for my job. Um, I went to conferences in Spain, Italy, France, uh, UK, US, Vietnam. I also give scientific talks at the University of Oslo or Geneva. And I also went observing in Chile at the Blanco Formica telescope at the top of a mountain, basically. And when the observation of the sky were going smoothly, I, I, I could just go outside and look at the skies and the stars. So that was amazing. But one day, after a night of observation, I went to my bedroom and I found a huge spider just next, next to the door of my bedroom. And I hate spi spiders. So life is uh, difficult sometimes. Um, I also get to work at Caltech, which is great. That's where Einstein, uh, one of the greatest physicists, um, was hanging out with some of the great cosmologists of his time. But now I try to prove Einstein wrong, and that's really hard. Uh, so why do I make my life ev even more difficult? Cosmology is uh, the study of the universe as a whole. So now we have to zoom out a lot. We are talking about distances that are billions of billions of kilometers. At these distances, the main force that drives everything is gravity. Gravity is what makes things attract each other, like you, you and the Earth, the Earth and the Moon, and at these distances, galaxies between each other. A century ago, Einstein proposed his theory of general relativity. In this theory, he proposed a new equation for gravity, a new way to understand the world. Shortly after, some people um, took this new equation and apply, applied that to the universe uh, to build a realistic story of the universe. So this story says that the universe has been expanding for the last 30 billion years, as Aaron just told us. We also know that um, there are billions and maybe an infinity of galaxies. But the story also says that if there is only matter, so like atoms, stuff that makes us, the planets, the stars in the universe, if there is only matter in the universe, then the expansion of the universe would slow down because gravity would compensate for the expansion. But 20, year, 20 years ago, two separate teams of astronomers, one in Australia and one in the US, actually observed that it is exactly the contrary that happens. The galaxies are getting fast away from each other faster and faster. The expansion of the universe is accelerating. To explain that, we cosmologists think that there is also dark energy in the universe. Okay, dark energy is super weird. Take a fluid, like water, air, or in this case, I would take the example beer in a box. Okay, you put, now you make this box twice as big, so it's like the universe expanding. Okay, beer in a box, twice as big, you end up with the same amount of beer as at the beginning, right? It's just you have the same amount um, of beer as, as at the beginning, same amount of particles. Now, you put dark energy in a box, you make this box twice as big, you end up with twice as much dark energy. And there is nothing that we know about that behaves like this. Um, so what does it mean? That 70% of the universe, so most of the universe, is made of dark energy and nobody can agree, agree on what it is. Um, so science is about making sense of observation of nature in a general framework, what we call a theory. And if your theory doesn't explain your observation, then you have to change it. So I, I like to think about the scientific method and the way I do research, like building a house. You start with a foundation, which are like the assumption, I, hypothesis that you make about the world. Then the walls, which are equation, the mathematical framework. And the roof of this house is like the theory that you obtain. 
Now, okay, you build this beautiful house, but this needs to stand against rain, storm, earthquake. And these elements are exactly the role of observation, experiments, measurements that you make in the real world. So if your theory, uh, if your observation are predicted by your theory, then your house is still standing against the elements. Um, and like in real life, there is, houses are not eternal, so if your theory is not general enough, then you just make the house bigger, you add a room. Or if your house is crumbling, then you just have to demolish it and build a new one. In cosmology, this house is our story of the universe, our model of the universe. And for the last 20 years, since this team of uh, Australian and American has discovered that the expansion is accelerating, this house is in the middle of a storm. So cosmologists were like, it's okay, we just have to add a roof to our house, like it's dark energy, and that's fine, our house is still standing. But one of the foundation of this house is Einstein's theory of gravity. And that's exactly what my research is about. It's about saying, maybe we just have to demolish this house because the foundation is, is wrong. Maybe Einstein was wrong and we can't use his theory of gravity to explain the universe. To do so, well, in, in 2014, when I arrived uh, in Edinburgh as a Royal Observatory, I joined the Dark Energy Survey. We used a telescope here, at the Blanco, the, so that's the Blanco Formita Telescope, to observe the skies for six years, and we just finished uh, observation last January. Um, and that's what we saw. <laughs> no, actually this, <laughs> This is exactly why I hate spiders. This comic is crazy. You have like spiders as big as trees and never read that. <laughs> this is actually what we saw. So these are images um, made by the Dark Energy Survey of some galaxies that are quite close to us. And they look super pretty, right? Well, I don't care about them. What I care about are these tiny white dots that you see here. Each of these dots are actual galaxies that are billions of billions of kilometers away from us. And we measure their shape, their position, and from that we infer information about our universe by measuring how deformed and how close to each other they are. And the step to go from this kind of images to actually saying something about the universe takes a lot of people. So Dark Energy Survey is made of 400 scientists across seven countries in the world it takes a lot of computing time, so we use supercomputer, which are 10,000 times more powerful that, than this laptop, for instance. And it takes a lot of human power. We finished the first year of observation in 2014, um, and we published the results about using this observation about our universe only last year. So it took four years to, to do this analysis. And this is one of the main results. And this actually means a lot to me because it really represents months, even years of work. Um, and I don't need you to really understand the detail of this, but I really wanted to show you an actual picture of cutting edge cosmology. That's, that's something we published in a journal and that people are talking about right now in cosmology. Um, so to give you an idea, just this, the full picture represents the different theories of gravity. The black cross here represents Einstein's theory of gravity, so the equation that he gave to describe gravity. And the colored area are what our observation of the universe tell us about gravity. In other words, that means that Einstein could be wrong, but he looks like he was right. Now, at JPL, I'm leading with a colleague in Stanford, a team of scientists that are going to do the same kind of analysis, but with more observation, more galaxies, more precision, to tighten this colored area. And in a year, I might be able to tell you if uh, this house that is the story of our, our universe is still standing, or if we have to just demolish it, and then you can help us build the new one. Thanks. <laughs>